Hey, I'm Lou Santiago, and I want to talk to you today about Sentry battery chargers. But before we get into that, I want to tell you guys about the three types of batteries that you'll find on the market today. You've got your gel fill battery, where they take a silica fume and mix it with sulfuric acid, making a gel through a chemical reaction, then they put it in a container. You also have an AGM VRLA type battery. Now, we're not going to worry about that because it's basically like your old conventional battery where instead of using lead plates, it uses glass and that fuses everything together and it makes it work. Then you go to the one that most people know, your conventional lead plate sulfuric acid filled battery. But the thing about those batteries for the boating industry, where we're at now, they have deep cycle batteries and those batteries, they love the abuse. What happens in a boat, the battery drains way down deep because boats spend most of their life sitting on the water. The only thing boats are usually used for are hanging out on the weekend, maybe having a frosty one. So they need to work. But the thing about a boat is it gets really low, then it charges way back up. And Century makes the battery charger for that deep cycle battery in your boat. So let's go look at it. All right, so I've come to the conclusion that, well, the battery's dead. How can you borrow a friend's boat when there's cobwebs in it and all that? So I gotta get my battery charger and make this baby purr. Something you need to keep in mind, boats draw a lot of electricity. You've got stereos, you've got running lights, you've got trolling motors. There's all kinds of stuff that goes on a boat. Boats have become, well, luxury crafts. That's what they are now. They're not like they used to be where you got out there with some oars, did some, did some workout. It ain't like that anymore. So you gotta have a deep cycle battery because there's a lot of stress and strain put on your battery. So what you wanna do, put on all your personal protective gear before you start messing with it because you don't want to get hurt. Second of all, you get your battery charger. Now this is a deep cycle charge battery. What this does, it gets way down in that battery and brings up that charge nice and slow because you can actually charge a battery too fast and it will actually shorten the life of the battery. And this is what you don't want to do on a boat because you have so much electrical needs on the boat and the battery itself. You got to make sure you do this kind of stuff right. All right, we know where our batteries are, and the next thing you need to do is you need to check your batteries to make sure that the, the battery itself, the actual plastic casing isn't hot or swollen. Because if it is, that means that there's a problem with the battery and you need to get it checked out. So you have two options. If you can get your boat someplace to get it out of the water and get it serviced, you can do that. Or you can take the batteries out and get them serviced on your own. Something else that you need to keep in mind, if you have to jump start it, you can just turn this knob down to jump start, bam. Did you know that Century actually was the guys who came out with the whole jump start feature in 1937? But enough of that, I gotta get to work. What I did was I found a negative ground inside the boat where, the, where everything's hooked up to. All the electrical's going to it, it's a main ground. So I hooked my battery charger up to that on the negative side. The positive side I hooked up. The reason why I did that is because every time you hook up the two, on the battery, you get a spark. Well, there's fumes, and batteries can have problems. When they get spark, fumes, go boom, not good. So, what you do is, being that this is a deep cycle battery, you turn your charge at a deep cycle, which is a marine thing only. Not regular cars have deep cycle batteries. So now, what you wanna make sure is that everything's hooked up right, which we have. And just if you're really not sure, if you went to turn this machine on and it was hooked up wrong, you'd have a little red light that comes on and that tells you that the machine is hooked up wrong and it will not work. So you switch your connections and then you're good to go. Something else that's really important is this amp meter. This amp meter tells you how much draw is coming out of the machine into the batteries. So the higher the number, the more draw. So it's gonna, it's gonna slowly go down to zero. Zero means the battery's fully charged. And there's a little green light here that will come on and tell you that the battery's charged. So what they've done is they've taken all the guesswork out of charging batteries. All right, next step is, uh, turn it on. All right, so I'm gonna let my battery charge so I can take this baby out for a quick spin. Now, you can keep this battery charger on your boat and store it somewhere out of the way, that way you, have, you always have it. But if you don't wanna do that, you can get one of these battery maintainers. This way you can just mount it inside, it's water resistant, bam. All you gotta do is make sure it's plugged in, and when you come in, unplug it, button it up, row it away. 